Now, hygiene is a big thing. It should be a big thing for you as a man that the woman that you have believes in cleaning herself from head to toe, especially that body part that she has between her legs that is so intricate that it needs a special doctor to take care of it. Understand what I'm saying? And she should be going to see her doctor at least once a year of uh, just on a good day. And she have anything going on. She need to go see her doctor immediately. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, but you have, and we've seen stories like this multiple times of Becky and in, in her community have a problem with hygiene. And it's not just one person. We've seen this all over the place. Case in point, we about to review this video. I made the conscious decision to stop washing my hands. I think when I was in college. Was it college for you? I don't know. That's the, that's when I remember it because one of my good friends from college also doesn't wash her hands. And <laughs> oh man! Now, and you wonder why during the pandemic why it spread all over the place. How many times in the pandemic did they tell you to walk, you know, all that wash your hands stuff they were saying they wasn't targeting us. They was targeting them because I grew up. You always wash your hands when you go to the bathroom, no matter what you do, you wash your hands. If you get your hands dirty on, on anything, you go wash your hands with soap and water, dry, dry your hands. You understand what I'm saying? Why you want to walk around with dirty hands? How do you make a conscious decision to not wash your freaking hands. How? And old brothers, I can I can go I can go video after video after video about the hygiene. Oh, I can go there because the videos are actually out there where they got some of them saying they don't they only shower once a week. What? Oh, I, I can get into that video if y'all want me to. I can post it. But let's continue with them not washing their hands. Let's go. Like how we have that bonding. Experience. Experience. One day I was like, I I'm, I'm just not going to wash them. She's like, I'm not either. I don't wash my hands. I don't really trust people that wash their hands because. Oh, God. Well, oh, come on, bro. So a person that washes their hands, you don't trust them. Now, if you get into not if you get into history, let's talk about history for a minute. And you wonder why, why bubonic plague has spread in Europe. Because be, if you study European history, the washing of hands, taking baths and all of that, that wasn't a, a thing until the Moors, definitely Ziriab, look him up, came in and taught them about bathing. They used to feel that changing your linens and changing your clothes, that was clean enough. You didn't have to bathe like that. But Ziriab, the Moor, came in when they came in and took over parts of Europe. They said, "Wait, oh, whoa, ho, 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 ho! What the hell? No, 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 no! We bathe in the morning. We bathe in the evening. And if we need a, ba a, a bath or something during the day for whatever reason, we would do that. They taught them about having a five course meal. Ziriab taught them that. They they wasn't eating no five course meal." That came from Ziriab. Look him up. He taught them all of that. The more. But it's kind of like that old statement when they talk about at least in our community, where you can you can take you can take her out the hood, but you can't get the hood out of her. Well, you could take them out medieval times, but you can't get medieval times out of them. Let's continue. Well, one, I don't think it does anything. No. To actually wash, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything to actually wash them. I do wash if I they go number two. They didn't used to wash them back in like the back way back in the day when they didn't have, and you would go to the bathroom around the outhouse. Nobody. She ain't lying in her in her history. She's not lying about this. She's she's telling accurate history about her particular community. She's not lying. They were not washing hands. Study it. They weren't washing bodies either. Some of them will go a year up to taking up, taking a bath. Now, some of you brothers who got women in, in, in her community, I've gotten comments from you to say, yeah, you know what? 
the last video I posted like this. Yeah, my girl was like that. I had to get on her. She couldn't be around me like that. And now she she takes a bath every day. She's extremely clean. I'm like, I'm not. Listen, if I got to if I got to teach you how to bathe, if I got to it, 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 tell you, you got to take a bath every day. I'm not being with you. You should have learned that way before you came around me. Because listen, the black household cleanliness is next to godliness. What the hell? Their hands then, and there was less diseases. I sometimes like. No, it wasn't. Y'all had plague after plague after plague happening in Europe. Yeah, that's a lie. You want no less diseases? My roommate told me I'll have to like turn the water on because I'm like I don't want them to think I'm like disgusting. I'll like text. I'll like turn the water on and like take a text break. <laughs> no, and be literally, like, I'm like. So, so you take your nasty pissy or poopy hands and put your nasty pissy poopy hands on a phone, transferring all them germs to your phone, putting that same phone to your face like this with your nasty, putting it, putting all that, the poop particles and pissy hands on your freaking face. And that's cool, right? They saying it, not me. That's why I play videos. I want nobody to say I'm lying. When, when you're at work and someone that you know goes into the cell, you're like, well, I guess I'll fake wash my hands now. We're always in the bathroom with Kate, and I'm always like, we also don't shower. There we go. Not showering. Not showering. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? You're crazy. You don't want to take a shower either. What are you? Why are you afraid of water? Why? Like, what is it about soap and water that, that it just... You are so afraid of. Trust me, when I take a shower, I love the shower. I love hot showers at that. I love hot showers. I love just to take my shower, wash head to toe. Sometimes I, after I'm there, I'm just in there in the water, just, just basking it up. To me, I'm not, you ain't clean unless you're taking a hot shower. As I'm old school. The hotter the better. Hot as you can stand it. That's where we come from. We come from, listen, wait, we, a lot, a lot of black people are raised, definitely here in America. You better not be in nobody house uh, smelling, like, smelling dirty, smelling like dirty, sweaty, smelling like uh, underarm odor, smelly feet, a uh, uh, bad breath, uh, your hair smelling sweaty or anything. You better be in there. And matter of fact, there are some cultures in different countries that don't like to put on deodorant. I can't even rock with that either. I'm just be on with you. I can't rock with that non deodorant thing. No, no, no. Well, that's somebody else's culture. I don't care. I can't stand that, 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 that smell. No, put on some doggone deodorant. If you don't want to use deodorant, go get you some baking soda and water, make that paste of baking soda and water and put that underneath your arms. That's natural deodorant right there that you can use. If you don't want to use the stick or the spray. Nobody wants to smell that. They're like, nobody wants to smell your bad breath. Go to the dentist. Nobody wants to smell you. you you'll smell uh, uh, certain ladies that don't take care of themselves. Go to uh, a freaking um, gynecologist. But you hear them right here. They don't want to take a uh, wash their hands and don't want to shower. Hmm. So you brothers, maybe some of you brothers have dated some, you know, let, let us know in the comments. I'm like, listen, you're anonymous. Nobody knows you. Right. Don't be embarrassed about it. Right. And listen, Brad's the same way now. So that's, that's not just point them out. Brad's the same too. Brad don't want to wash his hands. Brad don't want to take showers either. It's just not, no, no. It, it is a cultural thing that I'm seeing because this keep coming up online and then some of them are getting mad at us and saying everybody's culture is different maybe not everybody want to take a shower every day i'm like whoa and you wonder why the, the pandemic spread the way it spread you wonder why this is why in african countries where you didn't have a whole lot of people within your culture you see how, how covid limited because of not uh having people around that didn't wash their freaking hands they didn't believe in bathing when when covid spread at that time period based on hygiene. But let me know, like I said, let, let me know. Like I said, I could just be just too old school and believe in being clean. Maybe y'all new people today don't believe in being clean. I don't know. Let me know in the comments.